we will be talking about books we will be cooking and talking about books these are the books that i read so far this year <laughs> yinka where is your husband i'm an english girl <laughs> beautiful humans it is me your fellow human and it is always nice to have you here of course um today is a very beautiful day it's not sunny but it's beautiful anyway today we will be talking about books but that's not all because we will be cooking spaghetti bolognese this spaghetti bolognese, pasta bolognese, whatever you will call it. We will, we will, we will be cooking and talking about books. Ah, these are the books that I read so far this year. First of all, I wasn't paid to talk about any of these books because I don't think, I think you can pay me to talk about anything but books because when I read a book, I am emotionally invested in the characters so if the book is annoying to me it is annoying to me you cannot give me a million dollars to say a book is nice a million dollars though hmm maybe we can talk about it <laughs> but yeah so all these books are just books that i really liked i read and i will talk about them i'm very happy to be making this video so let's go I have to bring out the things I'm using, I'll be using to cook, right? So, Americana is a book that I really, really enjoyed. And, you know, I found some of, some of, the, of the parts really relatable, especially of um, Ifemel having to move from Nigeria to the, to the US. In Nigeria, which is where I'm from, you don't, you know, everybody is like the same. You don't necessarily think about the fact that, oh, I'm black or I'm dark skinned or whatever, but like when you move to, say, the US or for me, I live in France, you know, it's, I, f I find that that's that part of the, the book very relatable. Oof, this onion is making me cry. Oh Jesus! Yeah. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> I'm an English girl. <laughs> I'm cooking a bolognese. Yes, bolognese. And um, talking about books I read. <laughs> <laughs> I read um, twenty books. Uh, onions, onions oui. and uh, carrots oui. and uh, tomato oui. and um, after I will put the steak in the poêle <laughs> and uh, <laughs> my English is very bad. No, I'm a Spanish girl. <laughs> no, your English is very great. It is yeah. perfect. Mm. Perfect. Thank you, Ella. Wait, wait. Just don't worry. I love you. I love you too. Another thing that I really liked about Americana was the, mm, the unquenchable, undying love between Obunzi and Ifemelo. I mean, most of Chimamanda's book always ends with cliffhangers, so I was really surprised that, you know, kind of had a sort of happy ending, even though the happy ending was not for everybody in the book. <laughs> Um, and you know, a lot of people were like, Oh, I feel like it's such a selfish girl, but um, we are all selfish in one way or the other. I don't know, I just really like if we if we're married, anyway. Um, I mean, I don't support all her choices, but I support her anyway. So, yeah, I think that's about it for Americana. Next book we'll talk about is. The Concubine by Elichi Amadi. May so rest in peace. First of all, I, th I feel like the ending of that book was rushed. From the start of the book, it was going 
it was going then all of a sudden towards the end it's like everything just boom happened this 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 and i needed answers but what i really did like about the book is the way that and what's her name ihoma ihoma had the whole village of chokehold your mama was so pretty that even the men and the women in the village couldn't stop talking about it. <laughs> and Iwoma literally means like, I mean, it can it can mean a beautiful face. It can also mean like a beautiful future or a good future. Iwoma, you know, Iwoma or Iwoma, like me, Iwoma, you know. Um. So I, I'm going to try as much as I can to not talk so much about each book because if i do that that means we're going to sleep here this video will be like an hour long so i'll just try to like summarize and talk about things that i just liked you know and move on to the next so um yes i really i needed answers like because towards the end it was like oh we realized that ihoma is um um i don't know i don't know if i'm spoiling the book for anybody but yeah ihoma was the I don't know was betrothed to a sea god to a sea god or she's a sea goddess or whatever i needed like answers as to how why where when like it just happened why i really enjoyed the story i enjoy anything that has to do with Igbo culture and before we go to the next book let me start putting on all my things already so let me start actually cooking cooking them <laughs> You in the backyard of your old farm in the summer. Spent every three weeks where we learn to love each other. Wrote you a letter. Sitting right just right next to me, so I feel a bit shy as I'm explaining. Yeah. Look at how pretty they are. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> um so the pasta is boiling, right? And I will quickly talk about the next book while I wait for it. And the next book on the list is Yinka. Yinka, where is your husband? Um I really 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 loved this book because I found it relatable in some aspect and um, mostly the, the aspect of the Nigerian aunties that are always poking into your life and wanting to know what you're doing. The, the writer made it so easy to read because um, we, I was able, it felt like I was going on, on this journey of growth with Yinka and even though like the first half of the book I was so mad at Yinka because like she kept changing herself for men like she because she wanted to get a man she was doing so many things that i found really annoying but that i really <laughs> my housemates are really killing me here i really like the fact that towards the you know the, the second half of the book she found herself and she she kind of learned to actually love herself and you know when you love yourself you're able to attract people that would even love you more so i really liked that growth act of Yinka. What I took from this book is that, you know, do not follow the timeline of anybody else. Just do your thing. 
everybody could be getting married, everybody could be having kids, everybody could be getting their own jobs, but your timeline is not the same as theirs. You have your own life, they have their lives. So do not force yourself into anything because of what everybody else is doing. You have to follow your own your own path and you know stay put in that and work towards your own goal, not people's goal, not what people expect you to become, right? You should take the weight of everybody's expectations off your shoulders and just live your life for yourself. So I'm glad that Yinka learned to do that for herself. So yeah. how good this food is Whew. well the next book I will talk about is um, confessions of an alleged good girl um, I think reading the first half of this book made me realize that I may or may not be growing into a judgmental Nigerian auntie because <laughs> I was so pressed, I was so mad about the fact that the first half was just talking about a 17 year old girl that was trying to have sex with her boyfriend so as to get him back. I mean, it's normal for a teenage girl to be, you know, to go through this process of not really knowing themselves, knowing ourselves and just thinking having a boyfriend is the only thing you can do in your life. I mean, it's normal. But then um, I wanted the, the author to talk about her hobbies, you know, the things that really she really liked and all of that. But the book got so much better in the second half, um, you know, and in, in some ways, I, in, in a way, I didn't really blame Monique. Monique is the, the girl's name. I didn't blame her because, you know, she was born into a very religious and strict family. Her dad was a pastor. So it's like a taboo to even talk about sex, you know, it's, it's, it was a taboo in the family to talk about things like that. I also loved the growth arc of Monique because she went from wanting to give her boyfriend sex to, you know, learning a lot about herself, deciding that it's my body, I will do what I want to do with it when I am ready to do it. So I really liked that growth arc for uh, Monique. I also really loved her relationship with her elder sister. I wish, um, you know, we saw more of that. <coughs> the next book I will talk about is "Before the Coffee Gets Cold" by Toshikazu Kawaguchi. I think this was my first ever Japanese fiction. I mean, it's, tra it's translated obviously to English because I don't speak Japanese, but. I bought this book <laughs> mostly because of the, the the cover. It's just it's so cute. This book is really interesting, but then I think for me it was very slow. Really, I like reading chaotic books. I like as soon as I start a book, let it just go with like one chaotic thing. I just want chaos. I want dysfunctional families. I, what I really loved most about this book was the description. Basically, the book is about you know. A cafe shop it's possible for you to travel back in time you know in this coffee shop so but then when the author describes the coffee shop like how it how it looks from inside when you read when I read it just gave me this beautiful picture of a very um, cozy um, cafe um, shop that you know just had a very warm yet cozy vibe and um, the way he described it I think that was mostly what I like like his description was very very um, 
nice i really enjoyed that i think what i took from this book is that you know wherever you are be fully there like if you're with the love of your life if you're with somebody you're in love with make sure you experience that to the fullest and if you have things you want to say to them say it even if you're worried that they'll take you for granted if you want to tell somebody how much you love them if you want to um tell somebody oh i love you and i want to spend the rest of my life with you just say it because if you're worried about oh they may reject you what's the worst that can happen they say no and you you're heartbroken but then you said it and you move on you know if you if you if you wait until they are gone and then next time you start regressing i wish i had said this i wish i had said that you just live in the moment and be fully present because even if you are able to go back in time you would not be able to change what has happened you know so i think that's what i got from the book but it was it was a really it's a really nice book but just very slow for me almond by one pyong son I hope I pronounced that well, correctly. First of all, I love, I don't know what it is about this book, but everything is just, I don't know, it's just cute. Like everything is just cute. And then the font, the font, I don't know if you can see, everything about this book is just cute. And I really like the story as well. Um, in different, like at different points, I just wanted to hug and the main character Yoon Jae because you know he was he he's a boy that couldn't feel the human emotions that you know a normal human being should feel like anger and you know sadness and all of that like you could literally hit his head on the wall and he would just give a deadpan expression like you know just a blank expression like okay you know he couldn't feel and it was because of um it's, it's like a con it's actually a, a condition a brain condition called alexithemia not sure if i pronounced that well you know it, the book just talked about like you know how he he grew up how he dealt with certain losses in his life i don't think i want to talk about like what exactly he lost so i don't spoil the book for people but i think it was a really it was beautifully written i really really i love this book a lot and i didn't want it to end that's how much i loved this book Almond. Hmm. Veronica decides to die by Polo Cello. Talks about a young woman that you know had everything that you know one could have. She, she was pretty. She had boyfriends and she had a steady job and you know all of that. But still, she just wanted to die, and you know. The, the book takes us on the, on this story of like you know how she found herself in a mental institution and the people she met there the different and then I loved how um, the the author Apollo um, dived into the different lives of certain people in the mental institution it makes one realize that every moment in life is precious the girl with the loudest voice by Abidari this book really stayed with me um because it's the first time i would read a book written in what i would call broken english even though i don't know what english <laughs> she decided to write this book with because it's not necessarily the broken english like pg that we speak in nigeria so i i believe she this is what i think i believe she was trying to write in the broken english but clear enough for somebody who isn't nigerian to understand like, at first i wouldn't lie i wouldn't lie the english was annoying to me but overall i really liked this book i liked how determined um Adoni was regardless of the kind of life that you know she was born into pushing gods out by ashish K. Darpal. So what this book is a lot. Of course, there are lots of characters, but what I really, really loved about this book is how descriptive the author was, and the characters were so particular. Oh my God, they gave me headaches. <laughs> I won't even lie because it's like you would go from rooting for one character 
until you get to another page and it's like oh my god i just want to slap you right now do you get like it was such an emotional roller coaster but then um arihan hira and mala these three characters really stuck with me because um mala was a very was a very you know down to it i think i had I, I got this very sweet vibe from her like she's a very sweet person very kind except that she's just extremely religious to the point that you know she lets it she lets it make her do things that you know she shouldn't be doing normally if she had her senses i don't know how else to explain that kira was a raging feminist <laughs> <laughs> she didn't subscribe to any of that religious to her it was like religious baldadash like she didn't subscribe to any of that she was strong headed i really wished that i had gotten more of hira and arihan's relationship because the author hinted that you know hira had a very kind and sweet side to her as well she just was not happy with the way men treated women that was why she was like always angry and always seemed like she was just very mean or something but she was a very sweet person perfect life by noala elwood this book it gave me a twist that i didn't see coming at all but then it was an interesting twist at the same time at first, when I picked up this book, I just thought it was about like the main character being Vanessa. I just thought she was just a weird woman that, you know, wanted to leave this, that was delusional basically. I thought she was very delusional, she was just a delusional young woman that, you know, in her head saw herself as a rich woman that could buy houses. So she kept using different names to um, book appointments to go see houses. That was what I thought like this book was going to give me, but it ended up giving so much more. I really enjoyed this book. Amechi, The Past, The Present, and Tomorrow by Chima Oke. 11 short stories. And different stories talking about the present, the future, and the past. And I really, I really loved how easy this book was to read. It wasn't so... I don't think the writer's goal was to kind of show you how um, they are able to use um, ambiguous expressions or metaphors or whatever. I just think it was a very easy read anybody would enjoy it and whoever reads this book regardless of the fact that you may not be from nigeria when you read the stories that are situated in nigeria the way he writes you would be able to follow yeah you would be able to understand without needing external explanation i don't know if that makes sense i enjoyed all the stories actually and um yeah so you should definitely check it out and check out every book I'm talking about here because all of them are amazing. Thank you. So I did not realize that talking about different books would take so long. So I had to just stop adding the videos. So if you want to see the reviews of the books I, that you can see on the screen right now, just go to my Instagram. I have it on my highlights. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video and i hope you have an amazing week bye